Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I am very excited today because I'm doing a pen collection video. It's going to be a little longer than my usual video, so get cosy, get yourself a drink, light a candle if you want, or just journal along and whatever you want to do. Today I'm going to be going through all of my favourite pens. We've got all different types and I'm also going to be drawing along with the pens and kind of documenting which pen is which. So first up we have gel pens, some of my favourite gel pens. This pen is called Pilot Juice and it is in the size 04. Honestly, I will pick up a pen if it just looks cute. You might have guessed that already. But this pen had got Hello Kitty on it. It was a limited edition one that they did. I also got a Chromi one too. But I've always wanted to try these juice ones because they have a really fine tip and the gel seems to come out very smoothly. I will also link everything that I can in the description below. So I'm going to go through everything in order and you will see I will just link every single pen or the closest to it if I can't find the exact pen. I already know that some of these things are difficult to come by because my mum is also a huge stationery fan and I would send her these things when she couldn't get them but she'd see that I had them. I do apologise if you can't get hold of some of these things but the Pilot Juice is one of my favourite gel pens to draw with, very much like that. Now, I do find it hard to choose between the Pilot Juice and the Pentel Energel. This is a Pentel Energel pen in the size 05. As you can see, it has Kirby on it. It's by Nintendo. Again, probably a special edition. It came out in summer or spring or something like that but I bought this because me and my friend call each other Kirby and Waddle Dee <laughs> so I got us matching pens but I absolutely love this pen I actually went on a trip to Tokyo just before I came home and I only had this pen on me and I used it for all my sketching, sketching out my food and what we were doing and I had this one little notebook and I love it so it not only reminds me of that trip but also it's just great for sketching and bringing along with you as like a general gel pen. It never blocks, it never like jams or anything like that, it's just lovely. Okay, now moving on to <laughs> the Zebra Sarasa pens. These are Sarasa Clip because they have a little clip on there. Now, I ha I'm in two minds about these pens because I do like them, but the longer I use them, the more they tend to like dry out and then become a little bit difficult to draw with. So um, I do like them, they're cute, the design is cute, but I don't prefer them to the two previous pens that I have. They're also in the size 0 0.5 and I actually made a huge mistake with these pens. So <laughs> you might be able to see, I have one Disney Villains pen and I have three Pokemon pens. I actually bought five Pokemon pens from the Pokemon store, the, these ones here, and the designs are so cute, but I actually thought that the ink inside the pen was a different colour, so I thought this pen I'm currently using was lilac, and I, I thought that because they had a whole display with all the different Pokemon and they were all different colours and I thought wow this is so cool I've never seen these gel pens in different colours before <laughs> and then when I got home they were all black so a bit disappointed and I have five of them um, <laughs> but the design on the pen itself on the barrel is really cute and that's why I picked it up so next let's move on to biros or just like standard normal pens I wanted to show you these ones because I think they're a little bit interesting this one in particular this bright orange one was from Tower Records which is like a music shop and, and they did a like a, a special edition with Rila Kuma it's not great. It's I think it's a Bic actually. Yeah, it's a Bic Click pen and it's just a normal biro. There's nothing particularly special about it. In fact, it looks grey sometimes. So I don't always pick that one up, but I just like the, the outer casing. So I thought I would show you. These three are from Tokyo Disney and I actually bought these as a set of six 
I ended up giving three of them to my mom and had the other three for myself and it had all the Duffy and Friends characters on there. Now usually with the Park pens it doesn't actually say what brand of pen it is but I did have this other pen which was this little Minions one and as you can see from this one it's a uni jet stream and you can tell they're exactly the same so that's how I <laughs> figured out. Uh, they're really nice biros just to have, they're, they've got a really nice point on them and they write very smoothly. So these are two more pens that I got from Tokyo Disney. Um, this one was from Tokyo Disneyland, this came in a set of five and I actually split the pack between me and my friends that were, when we were visiting at the time. The pen itself is not great, it's, it's kind of like the tower records one it's just like a generic kind of biro not particularly smooth and the color's not very dark and again this mrs potato one this came in a set of two and i split this pack with me and my husband so he has one and i have one i like matching things if you haven't noticed <laughs> again this pen is is not great it's just like a normal biro pen and i think when you've tried some of the nicest pens out there, you realise how bad just general pens are. <laughs> or just kind of, they're not very smooth, or you have to press quite firmly, or they tend to skip sometimes. Same with this one. I love the outer casing of this one. This is probably one of my favourite pens to look at visually, but to use, it's one of my least favourite pens. This was from the Disney store in Japan, and obviously it was around Halloween time. You can see that the design is already coming off where you hold the pen on the barrel, and it's really hard to use like it's quite top heavy as you can imagine and the payout of the ink again is quite faint so but I do really like the outside so I thought it was worth mentioning that one okay now moving on to multi pens I have this adorable Lotso pen this is quite unique really I have not seen any pens like this before uh, this was from a small little stationery store my friend actually got this for me and they make these pens with all different characters and she got the Lotso one for me so as you can see you can push either ear down one ear is black I believe and the other ear is red so this is great for marking if you like marking any work and I know in Japan the kids tend to mark their own work so they often have a red and a black pen or red and black pencil or red and blue pencil um, so I found a lot of pens like that as well as this one. This was from the Studio Ghibli store. It's so cute to look at, like really aesthetically cute to look at, but the outer casing is very plasticky. And again, I was quite disappointed in this one because it was pretty expensive. The Studio Ghibli stuff tends to be very expensive but it feels very cheap. And it was in this beautiful case and I thought, oh, that's gonna be a nice pen. It's not, I was a bit disappointed. <laughs> but let's move on to some pens that I'm not disappointed with. This first one is called a Uni Style Fit and it has four uh, little barrels in there and you can change the colors. They have lots of different colors available. This particular pen has got Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy and they're all covering their eyes. It's very cute design of a pen they also had loads of like Winnie the Pooh ones and stuff very very cute designs and I just couldn't help myself <laughs> and I always wanted to try the uni style fit as well and then the next one I have this is so cute this was from the Nintendo store in Japan and um, my husband bought this for me when he was there one day he just picked it up for me this has three pens in it so often the the style fit you can either have a four barrel or a three barrel I'm not sure if you can have more than that but I really like the way these write they're very nice to write with the point is very sharp it's a 0 0.38 so you get a quite a fine pen and they never seem to clog up in any way I really like them so the next two multi pens I have are the zebra sarasa uh, select zebra sarasa select i have two of these this one is milky you can see that is a, a japanese character that they have these sweets in japan called milky 
and that's the character it's very cute again limited edition and this one as well is limited edition this is Ariel as you can see and I really wanted to zoom in on these barrels so you could see these all in cartridges you can see the characters in the through the glass like <laughs> through the plastic it is so pretty and there is so much detail in this pen honestly it's I just love looking at it as you can see when the pen is up the characters is facing you and then when you push the pen down the character's back turns to you and I just love the amount of detail that is in this pen very very pretty and I actually have run out of some of the ink on this one so I am going to change that um so that was the Disney edition one on the standard one they don't have any designs on they just have a little bit of writing uh, but they do change them out often and they have lots of different characters as well not just Disney ones so these are some of the inks that I have left as you can see I've kept all the the cute little packaging and I'm definitely going to stick those into my journal I think I have um, some Disney ones left I have like Alien and Potato Head and I think I have Marie as well it just makes writing so much more fun when they have all these little <laughs> nice details in them. It's very satisfying for me. Um, you can get all these pens without any characters on, just plain ones. If that's more your taste, that's totally fine. So this is how you take the cartridges out. You literally just pull them out and they come out so easily. And then when you want to put the new cartridge in, you just push it you just push it in it's really easy to change the cartridges so um what I want to say though about this pen is that sometimes it doesn't write great like it's one of those pens that it can stop sometimes like mid when you're writing and I think if you don't use it for some time then it will dry out I didn't actually realize that I'd used up so much of the of the ink um, but if you also you look at the bottom of the pen you can see when the inks run out of it so I don't know I wish that it was a little more smooth like I definitely prefer the uni style fit uh, to the zebra sarasa select it just runs a little bit more smoothly than this one but I find that this one is has so much detail in it it's really pretty to look at <laughs> so I'm just doing a little drawing to kind of play with all the different colors and as you can see like it draws nice as well it does have quite a scratchy uh, feel to it it's not this like the nicest pen to write with as you might have known from that uh, actually, is this my favourite multi pen? These might be my favourite multi pens. Oh, are these uni as well? Oh, they're Pentel. Yeah, again, I can't choose between the, <laughs> the Pentel. Um, these are really, really nice. So, as you can see, these are both from Tokyo Disney Resort. And even though they're the same kind of pen, I just. I love them both so much and they both have such different designs I just couldn't choose so I had one on one trip and one on another trip <laughs> if this bothers you the little dangly thing on the top you can actually just pull it out while you're writing and pop it back in or you can use it as um if you have like a dust plug thing a, a headphone thing in your phone you can plug it in that as well but I really like it it doesn't bother me at all having the little jangly thing on top so yeah like I said these are a Pentel multi pens and they're in the size 0.5 I forgot to say as well the Sarasa ones they range from like 0.3 to 0.5 so that's probably why some of them feel a little bit scratchy they're quite small this character is my favorite um Sanrio character his name is Hang Yodon and he is like a little fish man <laughs> my friend bought me this pen and I realized that it was the same pen that you get with Hobonichi which is the uni jet stream again really nice pen it's like a really good biro it's got a nice point to it same as the tokyo disney ones that we saw earlier with the duffy characters on i do prefer the hangy done one though to the hobonichi one because it has that clip on it it has some weight to it and i actually find that it is easier to write with with a little bit of weight on the pen so next we have some extra fine pens this is a kuratake i'm pretty sure it's kuratake zig i call this my nara pen because it has deers on it 
<laughs> it reminds me of Nara. But as you can see, it's very unique in the fact that the barrel goes all the way through the pen, the, the middle of the pen, and it sticks out the other side. I think this is so cute, and I've not really seen a pen that's designed like this. This one in particular, the brush pen, it's quite a hard brush and I can see why some people wouldn't like this. I personally really like it. It's very scratchy to write with, but I just love it. I really like drawing with it and I feel like it has some resistance on the page, if that makes sense. So next up, we have my finest pens that I own. I have the first one is the Uni Jetstream again. Love the Uni Jetstream. This is in a 0.28 and it's this beautiful navy colour. I've heard that some people have problems with this pen with it stopping every now and again. I love it for just drawing little foods and things that I've eaten throughout the day because I just think they look really cute and sketchy. Um, and then this is the smallest one, is the Pilot High Tech. This is 0 0.25. It's so fine that it looks like a pencil. Like it actually comes out like such a light colour. Don't know how I feel about it. It feels so delicate I'm almost scared to write with it. <laughs> But it's fun to own and I like showing it people because it just has the tiniest, teeniest, tiniest tip. Now on to fountain pens. Gosh, we are storming this. I feel like I'm speaking so fast. <laughs> so I have three fountain pens that I really love using. The first one here is called um, Preppy by Platinum in the size Fine 03. And I love this pink colour pen so much that I decided to put a pink ink in it and I used it so much and then I swapped the ink to this beautiful violet ink and I love that pen, it's great. It's quite a cheap uh, alternative for a fountain pen. As well as this one, this one was also not, uh, you know, it was inexpensive. It has this cute face on it, look. Uh, this is an extra fine tip and this is marketed as like a my first fountain pen. I just bought it because look at the colour. This cute baby pink with the, the cream kind of whitish uh, handle. I love it. Very fun to write with. I love drawing with it as well. And then we have the Lamy. I had wanted a Lamy pen for so, so long. I looked at them every time I went into Itoya and I ended up buying one on my, like, my last week in Japan. I love this colour, this limited edition pastel colour. It is a medium tip and I actually tried them all in the shop and the medium was by far my favourite. It writes pretty smooth as well and it has these really nice um, dents for your fingers so you can get a really nice comfortable grip. Um, I just love them and I also bought one for my husband and he uses his every single day. It's by far his favourite pen. I also recommended it to a friend. Uh, actually, no, we bought one for a friend as well. And he loves it too. So yeah, I love the Lamy pen. It's great. Really, really pretty as well. Okay, we're just going to do some little honourable mentions at the, the last bit here. So <laughs> this little mini pen, I love, 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 love. It is a Zebra uh, mini ballpoint pen. It's 0 0.7. And as you can see, it's pretty small compared to a standard size pen. It's my go-to travel pen. As you can see, I also got one for my husband in orange. Mine is in a very pale pink. And I got this from a little stationery store. I saw it and I just couldn't resist it. It goes everywhere with me and it fits so perfectly in all of my journals. And to accompany that, I also got a mechanical pencil but also by Zebra and it's also a mini one. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so small and it has a little eraser on the end as well. And as you can see, I stuck some Disney washi tape around it. I actually kind of did that on a whim because when I took the label off, it was really sticky and I couldn't draw with it because it was really sticky. So I just stuck some washi tape, but I actually really like the way it looks very cute it's kind of difficult to write to draw with the pencil because it's so thin and so small that you can't really get a good grip on it <laughs> the pen is fine but for some reason the pencil is I think it's just quite thin it's quite hard to to draw with as you can see I'm showing you there there's not much um, left on the end of the pencil when you're holding it but I still love it I take it everywhere with me and it's great for sketching 
Um, I just thought I'd show you. This is my box of fine liners and brush pens. And we're not going to talk about those today because they're not as cute. So, <laughs> but if you do have any questions, I can also show you those. Um, lastly, I know this was a pen collection, but I am going to show you. I am going to show you my mechanical pencils because they look like pens and I want to show you because I'm so terrible at actually mentioning what I'm using in the videos and I always get lots of questions so I thought I'll just show you all of them. This one is called a Pilot air blank and it's in the size 03. When I first got this pencil I just didn't use any other pencil. I absolutely love it. It's very lightweight and it has a really nice grip as well. It has the eraser in the end like most of them always do um, but yeah I love that one for a long time. Next is my, what's this one called? It's a Tombow Monograph. So Tombow Mono, they make the erasers. Um, so when I saw the pencil, I thought I've got to try that. And yes, I love it. Again, it's hanging on my favorite Sam Rio character. It has this really unique lock on it where you can actually lock the lead in place. So when you're pressing down, you're putting any pressure on, the lead won't shoot up back up into the barrel. So I love this pen for that. I also love this pen because you might have guessed being an eraser company, it has the longest eraser. Look at this. <laughs> it's actually even longer, but I've used it. So I love that it has this eraser in there. All the other pens, uh, pencils have got these tiny little erasers. This one doesn't. And you can also buy refills for it, which is great. The next two pens are also, they have quite a unique feature. These are called the Uni Kuru Toga pens. Um, one is from Tokyo Disney Resort and the other one is a Studio Ghibli one. Um, the Tokyo Disney Resort one I believe is 0 0.5 and the Studio Ghibli one is 0 0.3. So these have the unique fe feature in which when you're actually drawing with them or writing with them, the inside turns the lead as you're drawing and writing, which means you will continuously have a evenly rounded point on your pencil. If you notice when you're using mechanical pencils that one side, kind of like when you're using a lipstick, one side it tends to slant. If you use these pens, the Kurotoga ones, they will turn as they're writing and it keeps the, the nib perfect as long as you hold it in the same place every time you're writing <laughs> I thought it was very unique and this one in particular it also protects the lead by pushing in the the end of the nib there really well made pens uh, pencils I really really love them if they had a little bit more weight to them they would probably be my favorite ones I'll get to my favorite ones at the end so this one is from the Pokemon store it's so cute look at all the characters very very cute I just picked it up because I wanted to try it I don't know what brand it is like I said when you buy merchandise it doesn't tend to have the brand of pencil or pen that you're purchasing it doesn't have an eraser either it's fine. I like it. It's pretty simple. Now, the next two that are coming up are my favorite mechanical pencils. They're by Pilot and it's Alice in Wonderland, as you can see, design has a little clip on it as well. And I have a 4B lead in this, so it's super, super soft to draw with. I really do recommend that if you buy mechanical pencils, try to buy a variety of leads. That is the good thing about it. You can just change whatever lead you want, but I love the soft leads and this one in particular has a really soft lead. Also, I have another pen, which as well is the same as a Pilot. This one is from Tokyo Disney Resort. It's got a little Daisy Duck on it. I love it. Also has an eraser in the end. Um, both of these pen pencils, why they're my favorite ones is because they're weighted. So they actually, if you shake them, it will bring the lead down. Like you don't actually have to press on the top. You just shake, 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 and then the little lead pops out the end. Very cool. And because it has this, it, it has this weighted thing in it. It makes it feel very sturdy to draw with. And I really like drawing with it. It just, it feels so smooth. I like the balance of it. Totally, totally love those pencils. And a little mention at the end here is a Pilot Color in 0 0.7. This is much 
thicker than the other ones I just mentioned. This one here is a 0.3 but the red one is really nice if you're doing any watercolors because if you use lead then you'll probably notice that it will smudge a little bit if you use watercolor whereas if you use this red pencil you won't be able to see it it will kind of be very disguised if you put watercolor over it. That's why I like that one. And then I just thought I'd show you these two erasers because they were in the pencil case. <laughs> one is Rilakkuma, very cute and the other one is a Tombow Mono. I have a few of these but they're great for any like little details that you want to erase, um, anything you can't get to. So yeah, look at that. <laughs> that is my full pen and mechanical pencil collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It took me a lot more planning and as you can see I also used close-up camera so you could see all the details. If you have any questions about any of the pens and pencils I will try to answer them for you. I'm definitely not an expert. I just I really enjoy using these things. I really enjoy stationery and I get quite excited about new items please let me know with that being said what pen you think I should buy next. I have not yet purchased a new pen since being back in the UK so that's been like six months almost. <laughs> um, I really like the Kaweco, is it that how you say it? I think they are so cute and small so I think that'll be my next purchase but let me know in the comments if you have any pens or pencils that you really like using and that is going to be it for this week's video. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking so much but anyway I've really enjoyed it. I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Take care everybody. Bye! Thank <music> you.